Political revolutions always start with good intentions, but they quickly descend into a chaotic bloodbath. Conservatives care about consequences. Conservatives have always believed that change is inevitable, but preferred reform, not revolution. Gradual reform of existing institutions is almost always better than a sudden wholesale rejection of the old. The accumulated wisdom of our forebears is very valuable. British conservatives have a very good reason for not supporting revolutions. Britain has had its own disastrous revolution slash civil war. In the 1640s, Parliament beheaded the king and abolished the monarchy after a war, a revolutionary step. This war was devastating. Almost 200,000 people died. 200 towns and villages were laid waste, and for the survivors, taxes increased by up to 1,000%. And all this suffering solved none of the problems that caused it, but led to a military dictatorship, and then a pseudo-Catholic, still too powerful king, the son of the executed king, being crowned in 1660. The French Revolution too led to 20 years of devastating warfare, terror, military dictatorship under Napoleon, and at the end of it all, the old despotic Bourbon monarchy was reinstalled. The list of calamitous revolutions is long. The chaotic 1848 revolutions, the bloody Mexican Revolution, the blood-drenched Russian Revolution, the indescribably horrific Chinese Revolution, and the extremist Muslim Iranian Revolution. The death and misery the idealistic revolutionaries have caused is unquantifiable. Overall, Conservatives, unlike ideologies such as socialism, care about a society's well-being in the here and now and are not willing to sacrifice this for a future imaginary utopia.